Not going very well for the ladies at The View. Whoopi Goldberg reportedly threatening to quit after getting suspended from the show for two weeks over her comment about the Holocaust. Whoopi's co-hosts are said to be furious with the decision. Here's how the show very briefly addressed it today. Yeah. You all saw the news. Whoopi will be back here in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> is, that, is that how you do it, Dana? Well, having <laughs> done that a couple times yes. in my career, is that the uh, move? look, I, I think that's what the producers must have said. Yep. Hit it and get out and move on, and right. and that and that's what they have to do. I, I, I don't think I don't know anybody who was calling for her to be fired that I know of, that I listen to, that I follow. But I imagine that inside ABC News, or ABC, excuse me, the, the outcry amongst the employees and the staff must have been high enough that the executive said, we have to do something. Right. They felt compelled that they had to do something. The apology made it worse. And so separate, setting that aside, that the, so they make a decision, they suspend her for two weeks. She's probably furious about it. She's going to sit there and you think she, it's like, what did they say? Uh, we want her to go back and rethink, uh, reflect on it. Like when your mom sent you to your yeah, room and she's like, are you ready it. to come out yet? Right. And my sister would always say, no, I love my room, but I would be mortified. I hated to have to be sent to my room. So that's the kind of punishment that you, it's like when you're a kid, that's but, what you feel. What about you, Judge? Do you think she understands what she did wrong? And now that no, she's no, facing no. suspension, she just, she's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to quit. Yeah, she may quit. I, I don't know. I don't have a, uh, a hotline to whoopee these days. Uh, <laughs> but, 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 but here's the thing. She doesn't know that she was wrong. Mm -hmm. She sees it as white race, white race, all oppressors, and blacks are, being, are, are the victims, okay? But aside from that, the whole idea of her needing time to reflect and learn, I think is very important. I really do. Because when you have anti-Semitic behavior, a lot of it is ignorance. They don't understand yeah. the, the, the enormity She's of one of the greatest hate crimes the world has ever seen. And when I was DA, I took all the DAs uh, from New York State down to the Holocaust Museum in, in Washington. You want to see evidence of a hate crime? Go to the Holocaust Museum. Oh, yeah. Go to Simon Wiesenthal. Learn about the pain. Learn what a swastika does to someone who is a, a survivor of the Holocaust. I mean, they don't understand it. It's just, I, I can't believe that she has any idea of the harm that that uh, uh, statement caused a lot of people. So ABC's got to be thinking, you know, could we cut her loose after two weeks? She's got a hefty salary. She could be She's damaged goods. Salary. Gutfeld, what would you do if you were running ABC? Oh, oh man, unicorns 24-7, <laughs> buddy. Uh, this, they should be applauding her. This is a historical first for The View. She said, remember, she said the Holocaust wasn't about race. This is the first time in The View's history <laughs> where they said something wasn't about race. So, I don't know. Um, the, if you're looking for a, 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 an analogy that will piss you off, remember how Chris Harrison got fired yes. from The Bachelor, yeah. uh, except what he said or did was nothing compared to this. Having said that, even though she enjoys liberal privilege, it's interesting. If you think about liberal pr privilege too much, you come to this conclusion that you have fewer rights than, than liberals do. In, in the world of free speech, there are just things we can't say because we'll right. get canned. So there, and, and it's something that people don't really understand or talk about it. But just think if you at home change your political ideology to be a liberal and think about the things that you could say, mm -hmm. it opens up a whole new world. It's enticing. It is enticing. Just it's if you want to sell out. Yeah, let's do it for one week. But she apologized. So I, that that's what makes us different. We're accepting our apology. Joy and company sulked over this, even though just a few days before. Joy was saying Rogan cannot be reformed, yeah. and they, they love getting people canceled. The last thing I, I want to say is that she did do a service by illustrating the kind of the core racist belief of critical race thinking. She did it by accident. The CRT cult uh, cannot acknowledge Jewish suffering because that undermines the hierarchy of oppression. The, uh, the top of the oppression has to be white. It's just like the food pyramid. We're like the fats. Is that what's that word that they use? It's trans, <laughs> trans, transsexual, trans, trans, not trans, transgressive, intersectionality. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was a first for the five. <laughs> uh, all right, Harold. Um, uh, I, it doesn't seem to be like a huge. There's not people outside ABC with signs. Whoopi must be fired. This has to be coming from the inside. So I hope. I hope say three quick things. I hope that those on the View and others who have a spouse or people to be fired and have 
have really embraced cancel culture recognize this is the reason you can't embrace cancel culture. Mm -hmm. Two, I disagree with you, Judge. I think she realized what she did was wrong. And I think she learned. I think whenever you apologize for something and you're sincere, especially if it has to do with gender and race and culture, and you say, you know what, I didn't realize I was talking about a race, that race was actually a part. I'm glad the Anti-Defamation League uh, had called her and explained to her that. I actually believe she was telling the truth there. Now, she learned cancel culture has to end, and I hope not only The View, but every show. James Carville has said this over and over again, particularly to my party, those progressives in my party and others, who at any slight want to fire someone, not only want to fire them, want to banish them from ever being able to have a voice or presence again. It should all stop. And hopefully, maybe with Whoopi's, fire, Whoopi's suspension, uh, this is one of the positive things that comes from it. Well, well I, I can love the fact that you're so peaceful. You're a peaceful man, and, and that you like <laughs> to think that she is redeemed. I don't know how she got redeemed between Stephen Colbert the next morning, but what I think is interesting is that the co-hosts are furious, furious that she was uh, put on suspension for two weeks. You love and it, I, don't you, Judge? Because they were so mean to you on that show. They were mean to me on the show, but here's the thing. How do they survive without Whoopi? Yeah. They couldn't even say pre-planned vacation. No. <laughs> Whoopi goes to CNN as oh, the new CEO. I like that. I like that. With Joe Rogan. With Joe Rogan. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.